This is Ryan with Escotech, and I'm here to answer the question on a lot of PC builders' minds, which is what size SSD should I buy? The obvious answer is the biggest one you can afford, but there's more to this question than that. I'm going to look at the pros and cons of the three most popular sizes of SSDs to help you make the choice that best fits your build and needs. The first size is the 120 to 128 gigabyte class. Pros and cons are as follows. This class size has the lowest upfront cost and is the cheapest way to get SSD speed for your system. It's also the easiest to back up your system partition and files. Cons of this size are that the space must be managed. A current OS and a few large games could completely fill the drive. A secondary storage drive will be needed at an additional cost. This may not be a con overall as you can back up to it and the storage will be much cheaper in a traditional hard drive. In July 2015, the cost is around 66 cents per gigabyte, making it the most expensive per gig on this list. Now we'll look at the 250 to 256 gigabyte class size. Cost drops significantly to around 44 cents per gigabyte. Space doesn't need to be managed as much as the drive can hold most of all users' games and programs without any issues. Performance is usually slightly better in this size due to drive layout. The cons of this class size are that a secondary drive may not be needed but still recommended, especially if you have a large media collection and for a possible backup solution. It is still very possible you may run out of space, especially if you have a lot of games or big programs on your system partition. And finally, we'll take a look at the 500 to 512 gigabyte class size. The pros of this class is it's going to be enough space for most users. The drive will probably have enough room for the life of the build. And the cost drops even more to 36 cents per gigabyte. The cons of this size is that 500 gigabytes is plenty of storage for system games and even a decent amount of media. But this can make it easier to become dependent on OneDrive and forget the need to back up. This size of a system partition also requires a more elaborate backup solution. In conclusion, I can make a recommendation on any of these sizes. I'd say choose whichever one fits your system's needs the best. I can't recommend anything smaller than 120 gigabytes because they're less cost effective and your OS will fill most of the drive. On the other hand, one terabyte SSDs are also not going to get my recommendation because it would take a large media library to fill it and there's not a realistic performance gain to having videos and music on an SSD. I do think an SSD has become a necessity in a PC build, so the answer to the question of what size you should buy is to pick whichever one of these three fits your needs the best. Again, this was Ryan from Escotech and thanks for watching.